everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to teach you how to manage subdomains here at NameHero. A lot of our customers, they like to set up subdomains for subsections of their sites for different WordPress blogs and for a number of different region, reasons. Our resellers like to do this as well as our VPS customers as well as our basic hosting customers. So I wanted to film a quick video tutorial to show you how to create these, how to manage them, how to delete these, and how to make sure everything works just perfectly. Now at Name Hero, the first thing we want to do is we want to check and make sure our DNS is all completed before we start adding subdomains. So right now on my screen is our interface once you log into your account at Name Hero. Now if you're following along, you just hover over the top here and click log in and then you'll be brought to our main dashboard here that shows all your hosting packages and all your domains with us. So that's the first step. So today I'm going to be working with keydiets.com, which is an example site I have set up. So I'm going to click on cloud web hosting. And I'm going to navigate to that package. So you can see it's right here, the plus cloud called keydiets.com. I'm going to click on it. And this is my main control panel for the keydiets.com uh, plus cloud hosting package. So I want to first make sure that the DNS on the website is all set up correctly. Now DNS, that's what connects your domain to your web hosting. If not configured correctly, then you could be getting errors and so you don't want to even begin setting up or managing subdomains until you make sure there's no errors inside your DNS. Now if you signed up with a hosting account with this and you followed my tutorials or you just set up everything um, automatically, it's, it should be all automated. But if you're a reseller, there, there's some manual configuration. If you're a VPS customer, there's some manual configuration. So before we even go to cPanel to start setting up up um, the subdomains, we want to check our DNS. So a good indicator first is to click on this and to make sure your site loads. So you can see this is a brand new package. So it's showing index of, um, but it, you can see proudly served by Lightspeed at Key Diets on port 80. So you can see everything is connected. The domain and hosting is working. The DNS has propagated and we're all set. Now, we want to make sure that all the records are correct. So the first test is to make sure we see this page where it's connecting. We're not getting a 404, we're not getting a 403, and we're not getting a server not found error. So after that's, the, that is true, we want to go over to a tool we have called dnshero.com. So this is our DNS query um, tool, which is 100% free at Name Hero, and this allows you to check your DNS to make sure everything is in order. So all we're going to do is type in our domain. So in this case, keydiets.com. We're going to click report and we're looking for red. So first, we, we don't see any red, you can see, so that's great. That means everything is set up. But we want to look at our name servers. So since this is a shared hosting account, it's using ns29.namehero.net and ns30.namehero.net. Now, if you're using a third-party DNS provider, such as Cloudflare, maybe you're using Cloudflare's DNS servers, that means your DNS is actually managed on their site. So you go to cloudflare.com and you ma manage your DNS there. If you're using our name servers, or if you're a reseller and using your reseller name servers, that means that all your DNS is managed on our servers. So if you're not using either your reseller name servers here or Name Hero's name servers here, then you have to ask that third party if you need help. If you're getting red, you need to ask them. So if you, these say something.cloudflare or something else.cloudflare.com, then you need to ask Cloudflare, hey, what's up? Because we don't have access to that third party um, service. Some people like to use easydns.com. Some people like to use Amazon route um, DNS. So there's many other services out there, but personally, I recommend if you're using Name Heroes Hosting to use our DNS. Even if you want to use Cloudflare, you can use it with us called uh, doing a partial integration. And I've got a guide on our blog called the uh, Name Hero Cloudflare Guide updated for 2018, which will walk you through that. Um, but it's just good to, before you start going and managing your subdomains to make sure you have no red here. Because if an error comes up, it's most likely with your DNS. Now, with all that said, if you're adding a subdomain and you're using a third-party DNS provider, you have to actually make sure that you add the proper DNS entries to that third party. So you can go to Cloudflare, go to their knowledge base, and look up how to set up a subdomain, and they have documentation. But if you're not using Name Hero, it's not all automated. But of course, I am here, so I'm going to go through now how to create a subdomain. So I'm going to go to our client area, and I want to go into cPanel. So I want to create a subdomain for key diets. So I'm going to click Login to cPanel. 
This is my cPanel, has all the information, how to control my um, full site here. And I'm gonna search for subdomains. So I'm just gonna type in sub, and now you can see this tab called subdomains. So I just wanna test this, and so I'm gonna pretend like I'm setting up a subsite um, called vegan, so vegan.keydiets.com. So I'm just gonna type in vegan dot key diets dot com um, my document root is going to be automated it's going to put vegan dot key diets dot com and this is right above uh, the public html so it's just home slash vegan dot key diets dot com i don't recommend changing this so this allows you to easily identify where the files of the subdomain are so now i'm going to click create i've created it the domain's been created and go back so now if i look here you can see i've got this subdomain created so now if I copy this, go over to my browser and paste and go, I can access keydiets.com. Now, or vegan.keydiets.com. You can see I'm getting an error because it says, well, the IP address has changed. Well, that's because I just set it up. Just like when you set up a new domain or a new website, it's got to propagate. You have to allow, normally in the United States, two hours, but up to 24 hours for that new subdomain to be live. It might not be instant. Now, in some cases it might be, but in the United States, give it an hour or two and this error should go away. If you're still seeing this error after 24 hours, Go down to here by following these instructions and follow these steps to flush your local DNS. So this gives you all the good stuff on how to do this on a Windows 8, on a Windows 7, XP 2000 or Vista, uh, how to do this with a Mac, and all that stuff. So, um, for example, on a Mac, we would do this here. We would open our terminal. I'm just going to paste this command. Click Enter. I'm going to enter my password. And this is going to clear it out. So after 24 hours, you still see that, follow that, and um, allow that to clear your DNS cache. Now, the subdomain has been created. It's set up. We're just waiting for it to propagate. Now, if I go to Active cPanel, I can now manage my files by going to File Manager, clicking on vegan.keydiets.com. And this is my document root. So anytime I create a file, I can set anything up inside of here. So if I want to manually create files, I just click new file, maybe index.html, create new file, and that's going to be my index. So when this propagates, it's going to show up a blank page. So once it's all created, um, that's how it's going, to, it's going to show. Now I can see if it's if it's going to propagate and you can see I'm still going to get this error because it has not propagated. So I have to let that happen before I can actually view my index. Now I'm just going to delete this file. Let's say I wanted to install WordPress. So once this propagates, I can access WordPress on the subdomain. So I'm going to go back to cPanel, click on uh, or type in WordPress. It's not going to show. Let me go down here and just click it. So WordPress is right here under the apps installer. You can click install now. And now I can select my subdomain. So I can choose my protocol. Now, if it's um, secure, it takes 24 hours for auto SSL to run because it's got to propagate. So I don't want to choose that right away. I just going to use HTTP. And now I can select my subdomain. So vegan.keydiets.com. Now, if I want WordPress to be in the root directory, meaning that when I go to key diet or go to vegan.keydiets.com, I actually see WordPress, I'm going to delete this so it's not in a subfolder and leave that blank. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to set up a strong password. I don't really like to use admin either, so that's like vegan diet, something different than admin. Uh, strong password here and go down here and you can there's some extra options here if you don't know what you're doing just don't even worry about messing with them if you want to choose a theme you can here these are our free themes we've got a bunch of them that are preloaded in name hero so if you don't want to use the default wordpress theme you can pick one of these they've got a search feature the search features not features not really the best but you can use that um, and demo stuff if you want or you can just install wordpress the default theme let's click install and so now this is going to install on your subdomain. Once again, this is not going to be available until it propagates. Now you can look. Now it's actually propagated. And, and you know, this happens a lot in the United States. Within an hour or two, most of the time, things start to propagate. But again, you might need to give it 24 hours. But now I can, you can notice I already have an update. So let's just go ahead and update that. Now I can start managing my WordPress and everything from right here. 
Now, a question we got recently at Name Hero, and this is something we always say to our current customers and future customers, if you have questions and you want a video filmed on it, let us know. Um, our staff will pass it along to me. I will get the video filmed. Normally, it takes me about a week to, once you get your request, sometimes two, depending on my schedule. Um, but we like to know, what do you want to see? Um, we'll do it for you. So recently, someone asked, what if I want to delete a subdomain? How do I do it? Well, that's a great question. So now, you, as you see, I've got uh, my site up. My main page isn't up, and my admin area is. I need to give it 24 hours for it to propagate. But if you want to delete the subdomain, how do you go about it? So I'm going to go back to cPanel. So I'm at my main, back to the main screen here. Go log into cPanel. Just like when I went to create the subdomain, I'm going to type in sub, click on subdomains, and you can see here's my domain. So I've got options. I can remove it or I can redirect it. Some people, you know, if they're like, oh, I didn't really need that subdomain, but maybe you got indexed in Google. So I can click on manage redirection and actually set up a redirect to my main site. So Google will now send all that traffic to the main site. Um, but in this case, I just want to remove it. So I'm going to click remove and click delete, and this permanently removes it. Okay. Now it's important to note if we go to, we need to go to back to file manager. And look, the folder is still here. Look in here. The files are still here. Um, by default, it doesn't delete all your files. Um, and cPanel is designed that way so you don't accidentally delete something. You've, we've removed the subdomain. We've removed the DNS entries. But we haven't yet removed the files. So in this case, we installed this using the app installer. So we're going to go back to cPanel, scroll down to WordPress, and you can see here is the um, WordPress install we did. We actually want to click this red X and we want to remove it. So we want to remove the directory, the database, and the database user. So we're going to go down here, remove installation, OK. And now this is going to remove safely remove the WordPress from it. So return to overview. We no longer see it. Now if we go back to our file manager, we can go up a level and we can reload this and you can see it's gone. The directory and everything is all gone. Um, actually, re reload the page so it's gone from left to. It's all gone. Now, if you did not use the app installer, let me show you the manual way to do that. So let's go back to cPanel. Boom, boom. Let's go back into cPanel. Let's say we had a subdomain created that we did not manually install or automatically install WordPress, and we'll call it vegan again. Vegans, vegan, vegans, either way. So we've created the subdomain. Now we would first delete it from here, subdomains. We would we would remove it, delete subdomain. But then we need to manually remove the files. Since we didn't use the app installer, we want to manually go in and actually remove the files from that. So just give this a second to finish doing its thing. Go back, click on the logo here, file manager. You can see we still have this folder. To delete this, we're just going to highlight it in File Manager and then click Delete. This will move it to the trash. If you don't want to leave it in the trash, click Skip Trash and Permanently Delete. Click Confirm, and now it's gone. Now we have safely removed the subdomain. So there's a couple ways to go about it, depending on what you're using it for, how you set it up. But those are the two most common ways that we see. And that's how to remove and delete and keep your web space nice and clean and, and, uh, and manageable. You know, one thing I see at Name Hero is that when people have stuff happen to their account, it's because they didn't keep it clean. So if you're not using a subdomain, it only makes sense to delete it, keep your web space clean. I always say a clean web space is a safe and secure web space. So if you're not, if you created something a couple years ago and you decide nowadays you're not using it, make sure to go through this to make sure everything is clean and that cleans up your DNS and it cleans up your file structure and keep all this in a manageable state. So if you have any further questions with subdomains at Name Hero, feel free to let us know and, um, and we'd be more than willing to help you out. Um, you know, and there is one more thing that I will demonstrate really quick. Before I forget, I want to show you how to add SSL. So at Name Hero, all subdomains get SSL certificates um, as well as domains, but it's not immediately. So after I create the subdomain, I want to go to and cPanel. SSL, TSL status right here. And you can see everything that has an SSL certificate has this green lock. So good, good. But notice vegans doesn't have one yet. It says self-signed. So what we need to do is click this, click this, anything red, and click run auto SSL. 
Now this is going to begin to generate that SSL certificate. Now as I said, this is automatic. It runs automatically every so many hours. Normally we say give it 24 hours. But cPanel has built this functionality in. If you need the SSL certificate now, you can force run it. Now the only time this will fail is if the DNS has not yet propagated. So remember I said when you first create your subdomain it normally propagates within an hour or two but it can take up to 24 hours and so if this doesn't work immediately give it 24 hours for it to propagate. So I like to click here and this takes a little bit to run so when it when you're running it just go off and, and you know wait and you know, give it its time to run um, but then again if it's not immediately if you don't get that green lock immediately for the SSL certificate try it again or just look here in 24 hours because for auto SSL to run it's got to be able to fetch the DNS and resolve it for a verification you know that's one thing about SSL these certificates are generated because it can make sure that you are the actual owner of the subdomain so it's completed the page will refresh I'm gonna manually refresh the page and you can see it did run. So now vegans.keydiets.com does have a valid SSL certificate, and you can see we're getting a lot of green in here, which is good, that's what we want. So that's something else I figured I would just throw it in this tutorial before I end it. So that's how you get and, and completely manage the subdomain with, with SSL. Now you can add this to WordPress, you can use the really simple SSL plugin if you're using WordPress in that subdomain. So that's how you completely manage your subdomains at Name Hero. Let me know if you have any questions, I'd be more than willing to help you out. Leave your comments on this video. I'm also going to do a blog post. So you can look at our namehero.com slash blog or slash startup and I can um, walk you through there. But thanks so much for watching and thanks for using namehero.com.